The attention system is often affected after injury to the right-hand side of the brain. This leads to a condition known as neglect. Neglect leaves patients with a baffling syndrome, as if half their world has disappeared. And basically what they tend to do, which is descriptive of neglect, is they ignore one side of space. So, for instance, they dress one side of their body, they write on the right-hand side of the page, they miss things on the left-hand side. The stroke that Peggy Palmer suffered 10 years ago has left her with extreme neglect of the left-hand side of her world. Peter Halligan has spent many years testing Peggy to try and understand exactly what is going on in her brain. Sure. Yes, this ahead. time, Peggy, I'm going to show you this picture of a cat. Right. And I'd like you to draw it as accurately as you can. Right, OK. Neglect has very little, if anything, to do with your eyes. The vast majority of the problem arises from the brain processes involved in attention. And that your attentional system provides for where your eyes move. So in other words, if something happens in my visual field that's interesting, I'll move my eyes there. But why would you move your eyes there? only if your attentional system indicated you needed to move there. So your eyes, eyes are slaves to your attentional system. And what's wrong in neglect is the attentional system has been damaged. You notice that this cat has got two tails? No, I didn't notice that. Mm, look, <laughs> so you don't have it on that side, do you? No. <laughs> is there anything else missing in it? Um, Here, for instance, look around the, the left-hand side, is there anything? That looks missing. Uh, that, yes, that, that shoulder's missing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yes. Um, mm. The other part of the body is, isn't mm. it? I don't think about it, you see. So you thought you'd drawn a complete cat mm. with all the details? Yeah. OK. Mm. Yeah. When I show this to you now, mm. and you're seeing this again, does this surprise you? I was very surprised to see that other tail. Very well, surprised, yeah. And what do you think when you see... Because that was... I really didn't see that at all. And what do you think when you see something like this now, when I draw attention to it? I don't know how I could have missed it. Hmm. I don't know how I could have missed it. I really don't. Peggy, as far as I'm aware, never reports when you ask her afterwards seeing half a cat. In fact, I can draw a half a cat and show it to her and she'll say that's a half a cat and she can distinguish between a half cat and a full cat. So she can know the difference. What she draws is different to what she actually seems to see inside her brain. So Peggy is actually seeing a whole picture. Her brain is filling in the gaps, completing the parts that are missing. Peggy's neglect reveals another vital aspect of the brain's visual system. In her mind, her drawing is complete. What is missing on paper is generated by her imagination. I had a road accident when I was eight, resulting in some brain damage. So I lost all my vision to the right in both eyes. As far as he was aware, he was completely blind on the right-hand side. Twelve years later, while he was having his eyes tested in London, they discovered something extraordinary. It turned out Graham's brain could actually process visual information on both sides, even though he wasn't aware of it. Graham is a perfect case of a fascinating condition called blindsight. Graham's road accident destroyed just a small area at the back of his brain. If losing this area caused him to lose awareness of seeing, could this damaged area be the seat of consciousness? Weisskrantz experimented further. He showed Graham moving lights on his blind side. Right, unaware. Left, unaware. Right. Bizarrely, aware. although Graham says he can't unaware. see them, he can guess correctly what unaware. direction the dots are moving Back. in. Unaware. I am completely unaware of an event occurring in my blind field. And yet, in terms of which way it's moved, I get it right 90% of the time. Because that's a bit strange, isn't it? And I don't know how I do it. Right. Unaware. 
blind side is a condition in which one can respond to visual events without being aware of them. Okay. Now that means that as you know what the brain damage is, you can start to say something about what areas of the brain are necessary, are critical for awareness. So what is going on inside Graham's brain? Scans suggest that when Graham is responding to the dots, but isn't aware of them, a very primitive visual pathway is active. But when he is actually seeing them, a whole new range of brain regions lights up. We need lots of different areas for consciousness. Just to receive the information isn't sufficient. You have to do something with it for it to become aware. 